I know I recently posted a Nickel Hunt and Alvin Field episode, but after having a couple of boxes from Michigan and getting a 50p upgrade, not the 50d we need, but still a close call, I figured I'd do another two boxes since I have one more box from Michigan, thanks to Coin Crew, and one of my local boxes. Let's see if boxes 98 or 99 can give us that nickel we need. Hey everyone, it's Rob Vines Treasure and welcome back to my channel. Like I said in the intro, we have another two box nickel hunt today and this is gonna be episode number 117 of the series. Now, if you're new to the playlist or new to my channel, I always have the link starting at box number one, linked both down below in the video description as well as pinned up here for your convenience. As most of you know, we're trying to complete the second series Jefferson Nickel album before the 167th box because that's how long it took to complete the series one book. And like I said, this is boxes 98 and 99, so even though we still have 70 more boxes to do so, if we don't find the 50D in these two boxes, that's the mission. Now, I said in my last video, I did find a 1950 Philadelphia that we upgraded. This is the sister box to that box, and I'm hoping it shows us some more goodies. I also married it with one of my local boxes because my boxes have been pretty good as well. And surprisingly, the two Michigan boxes did not give us any buffaloes or silver nickels, so I'm hoping we see some of those today. Now, I'm going to put the books to the side. You guys will get a look at them at the end after we compare the finds to them to see if we have any upgrades or additions. Both of these boxes are circulated boxes. I can tell because there's holes at the bottom and I looked through the holes and I saw circulated nickels. We're gonna kick off the hunt with the Michigan State box since that might be the luckier of the two. And we'll see if we have any enders on the top side. Well, I don't see any enders to speak of, but I do see a few more of the older Jefferson designs. So maybe it's a good luck box. Let's go ahead and get this hunt started. I'll be back if and when. I have a first find in box number one. Well, we're already on roll number 20, and I've had slow nickel boxes before, but this nickel box is extremely slow. So far, we only have a nice 1963 Philly. It's not the DDR. A 58 Denver and one Canadian nickel. Finally, we got our first nickel from the 40s. It's a 1941 Philadelphia. Slow start, lots of rolls to go. Hopefully, it heats up. Roll 29, and we have our oldest Jefferson we have found so far, a 1940 Philadelphia. Well, I think roll number 32 is going to give us a silver nickel. I just grabbed the rollout. When I peeled the back edge off, I saw that, so I set him down and grabbed the camera. And we will have a silver war nickel. I can see a mint mark. It's going to be a Philadelphia minted 1945, and it's not in that bad a shape, actually. 1942 to 1945, you're looking for that big mint mark above the Monticello. If it has it, it's a silver nickel, and that means it's 35% silver. Can't get mad at finding that. Hopefully, it'll upgrade something, but if not, it'll go in the silver jar. Let's get back to the hunt, see if there's more goodies in this slow Michigan box. Same roll. Got another nickel, this time from 1946, and that's a 1946 Philadelphia. I'll just quickly look at that R on the reverse. Looks normal. We'll take it. 45 and a 46 in the same roll. Roll number 33 is going to give us our oldest Jefferson now. We've got one from the 30s. It's a 1939 with a little bit of damage on it. It's going to be a 39 Philadelphia, which is the common mint of the three mints from that year. But you do want to check it for that DDR on five cents. Just got some damage, though. And you also want to look at Monticello. Definitely a Philadelphia minted 1939, and I don't see the Henning nickel notch. We'll take it, though. Oldest find of the hunt. Well, we're on roll number 42, and this box has been pretty slow overall, but hunting this roll, about halfway through, I flatten it out, and look what catches my eye. That's going to be a V-nickel. Unbelievable. I did not expect that, but I will take that, and we have been finding these lately again. This is a V-nickel. I don't see a mint mark on the first dot to the left of sense. So we know it's not a 1912 D or S, but what year is it? And it's going to be a 1911. A little bit of meat on the bones, too. We'll take that. 1911 V-nickel. Man, I always seem to do well on V-nickels and well on 
Michigan boxes, but this one was slow and I was worried. We're not worried anymore. Let's get back to the hunt and see if there's more goodies in those last rolls. Well, we finished that Michigan box and I'll tell you, it was definitely light. Only 14 finds on the board, four of which were Canadian. That being said, we found a 1911 V nickel in the hunt today and a Silver War nickel, a 1945 Philadelphia. If we can find a Buffalo in my box, we'll have the trifecta. You saw the 39, nothing else fancy schmancy, but we did have a pretty nice 1956 Denver. That might be an upgrader. No steps, a little bit of circulation wear, but still a really nice nickel with good detail. And then we also had a decent 1954 Denver as well. So a couple of nicer nickels. Not sure the 54D will upgrade, but that 56D might. On top of that, I didn't point it out because it's just a 1959, but it's in pretty nice shape and it's a Philadelphia, which is a lower mintage. So a slightly better date there as well. Box one is down. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Slide my box over and hope we can find a Buffalo nickel because if we do, like I said, We'll have the trifecta. All right, taking a quick peek. I've got a dirty nickel. I can't tell what that is, but I definitely see some older nickels in my box as well, and that's a good sign. All right, let's continue with the hunt. Hopefully, we have more finds in my box, but if not, we'll take some more quality finds like the last one. I'll be back when I have a find in box number two of the hunt. Roll number 15 of box two. We've got a nickel from 1947, and this is going to be minted. In San Francisco, man, almost a semi-key date. 48S, 49S would be a semi-key, but that's a 47S. We'll take it, though. Roll 16 of box two. We've got a dark 1940 nickel here. 1940, Denver. We're on roll 87 of the 100 roll hunt, and I don't normally film the foreigns, but I pulled this out by the edge because I saw it by the edge. Take a look at this. What a beautiful coin. 1989, 20 pence. Queen Elizabeth II on the front. Can't get mad at that. What a beauty. We'll take that, add it to the foreign section, and get back to the hunt. Roll number 92. Another nickel from 1941. Philadelphia. Roll number 97. It's not the prettiest find, but it is a find nonetheless. 1940, Philadelphia. We're on roll number 98, and like I said in the last clip, we didn't have the prettiest find. This time, we do. It's a 50s nickel, and I don't normally film them, but when they look like this, I will film it. 1955, if it's a Philadelphia, it's a better date, lower mintage. If it's a Denver, we'll check it for that D over S. 1955, Denver. Man, that's a good looking nickel. Let's take a look at that mint mark, see if we have the D over S. We do not have the D over S and definitely not full steps. A little bit of circulation damage on the back, but still a really nice nickel. Might be an upgrader, we'll have to see. That's a beauty. We'll take that one and we'll add it to the board. Actually, I'll put it above so it doesn't get damaged at all in the last couple of rolls. Let me get back to the hunt, see if we have another find before the box is done. Well, that's going to do it for box two of the hunt. Both boxes were light on fines. Only 27 total fines on the board, 14 from the Michigan box, 13 from my box. But that being said, we had some good fines. I left the common 40s and 50s up there. I wanted to show you the best fines of the hunt. A 39P, a slightly better date 47S, and a slightly better date 59P. Those are not in great shape, but they are better dates. As far as the foreigns, we got four Canadians, and we even got that... Great Britain, 1989, 20 pence piece. Pretty cool find. As far as the better finds, a really nice 1955 Denver, a pretty nice 1956 Denver. We also got a 1962 Philly and a 1965 that we'll compare to the album to see if those upgrade. The best two finds of the box, other than that 55D being very nice, was we got a 1945 Philadelphia Silver Wartime nickel. We'll take that. And, of course, a 1911 Liberty Head or V-Nickel. Can't get mad at that at all. I don't find them very often. 
Speaking of finds, let me go ahead and compare all these finds to both books. See if we have any upgrades or additions. I don't think we do, but maybe in some of these nicer coins we will. And let me do that. I'll be back with a look at the books and some final thoughts on the hunt in just a moment. Well, we've compared the finds to both albums. Unfortunately, no additions, no upgrades for the second series album. We just had too many nice nickels, and the ones we found that were nice were not better enough to slot in. That being said, we did have one upgrade for the Series 3 book, that 55D, and it definitely looks nice in the album. The one we had in there was decent, but nowhere near as lustrous as that one is. The 45P, I took a look at the one we found today compared to the one that's in there. I mean, they're about equal. Maybe this one's slightly better, but it's not better enough to keep plugging this one in and out and risk damaging the slot. We'll just add that one to the silver jar. After 99 boxes, we're still missing the 50D, but we have 70 more chances, roughly 68 more chances to find it to beat series one album. For the series three book, we've now hunted 34 boxes. We're missing six, and the six we're missing are all the key dates, 38D, 38S, 39S, the 43D war nickel's a tough one, the 50D of course is the key date, and then one we can probably find, this 1944S, we just haven't found it yet, and we definitely could use some upgrades. That being said, it was still a fun two-box hunt. We got a V-nickel for the collection, silver for the jar, an upgrade, and other goodies that we've rolled up. If you guys enjoyed this two-box nickel hunt, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching. The only person that likes finding silver more than me is the silver jar.